I'm going to show you how to use the laser pointer for plate alignment and also for doing a dry run with the laser without cutting the material. So you can see here we have a PowerMax 65, a PowerMax 45 XP, and we have our laser pointer right there. So currently the laser pointer is sitting at the corner of the material and we're going to show you how to set that up. So you go into configuration and then you're going to go into one of the fabrication heads. So you go to fabrication heads and you can see we have those three fabrication heads already configured. I'll go to the laser pointer and notice how it has an offset of zero, zero. So the laser pointer is actually my master for the offsets. So this is like our reference fab head. And then if we go to the PowerMax 65, you'll see it has its own offsets. And the PowerMax 45 XP also has its own offsets from the laser pointer. So it's very easy to configure. And now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to simply turn the laser pointer on and off. So you just go to the laser uh, tool and you just turn it on and off and it turns on and off on the sheet. Now we're going to try to align the plate. So I've already set my lower left corner as zero, zero. And I simply did that by just going set and zero X, Y. And if you notice, the laser pointer is the main fabrication head, which is chosen right now because of the blue border around it. And now I'm going to also set this point as the lower left corner for alignment. Now it does not have to be a corner, but it could be any edge along the lower edge, but we are just choosing that for now. And now I'm going to jog over. to another point. And that looks like a pretty good point on the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and set this as my lower right. And now you can see the whole part rotated on the CNC screen to match which, what's on the machine. Now we're ready to try to cut the part. So before we do that though, let's use the laser pointer by locking the laser and that's by making sure that that is in lock mode and that will make sure that any of the other fab heads are not turned on during the dry run period. And you don't have to select dry run for this. All you need to do is select the laser lock. And then let's go ahead and hit play. And it'll become obvious when we do the box around that it'll be aligned with the plate. looks like it followed very well. So we're going to unlock the head and now I'm going to choose the PowerMax 65 but before we do that notice the digital readouts over here for the X and Y. These correspond to where the laser is but when I choose the PowerMax the X and Y changed according to the offset that we had in the configuration. So now let's go ahead and now that that's chosen and the laser is unlocked and we'll run the G-code again. Actually, before we do that, let's set the PowerMax 65-0. So it's going to go down and sense the plate. And that's the V axis. And we are all set.
started, we had a finished part, and you can see that the part is nicely aligned with the outer edge of the work piece. So the work piece alignment was beautiful. Thank you.